Hi, this is Tim from BrickSmart Workshop. This is just a quick video about some adjustable linear actuators that I've created in Part Designer. Why you might find them useful and how you can download them from my BrickLink Studio Gallery. If you use BrickLink Studio program to build LEGO Technic sets or design your own Technic based MOCs, you may have noticed the linear actuators don't extend. Bizarrely, the regular sized one is stuck in the fully extended position or the small mini actuator is stuck in the fully closed position. Anyway, I was able to create two new linear actuators in Part Designer by chopping and reconnecting the base models and adding a substitute connecting rod on the smaller one. These custom linear actuators can be released from their submodel, adjusted in length, and reconnected as a submodel. I have saved them as a Studio I.O. file and saved the file to my Studio Gallery. Just search Adjustable Linear Actuators or Custom Actuators in the Studio Gallery at bricklink.com or click the link in the description below. You won't be able to save them to your custom parts list, but you can open the file and copy and paste the actuator you need from there. Hopefully BrickLink will improve the way custom parts are saved or transferred or create similar models in the master palette sometime soon. But until then, you can use these. In this example, I'm switching out the regular actuator from the crane arm in the LEGO 42070 all-terrain tow truck set. I can now set the crane to the angle I want and connect up the actuator to fit. Rather than going into the upper model mode, which would separate the actuators into three pieces, just release the actuator submodel and the shaft and head can be moved as one using the translation tool. Once you've made the adjustments you need, just recreate the submodel of the whole actuator, just now at the new length. In this other example of a model for a robot arm manipulator copied from Sariel's site, I've incorporated the custom mini actuator to allow the model to be set at any position. There's also a new large actuator being released later this year in the LEGO Technic Lieber Digger 9800 and I will add that one too in due course. Thanks for watching, do let me know how you get on if you try out these actuators and please give us a big thumbs up if you like the video. Click here if you'd like to see more studio tutorials or here if you'd like to see more studio speed builds and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you'd like to see more videos like these.